It's a Wednesday morning, and you're getting ready to email a very important document from a job you just interviewed for, for two days ago. Going to your computer room, you decide to put the final touches on your document. While you was putting the final touches on your document, the unpredictable happened. You got mail. It was an email you received from someone about a new job, and it had an attachment to it. So you decide to open it. After opening the attachment, you realize your computer was doing weird things. It started deleting your files, and the Internet Explorer just kept popping up all over the place. Congratulations. You just got hit with a computer virus. Computer viruses are dangerous for the world of technology. The three types of computer viruses are boot sector infector, file infectors, and, micro um, and microviruses. Let's begin with the first one, boot sector infectors. Have you ever left a CD or a flash drive in your computer? Then no, and then you decide to turn on your computer without pulling it out? Then guess what? You just became a victim of a boot sector infector. A boot sector infector is a virus that's executed from a flash drive or a CD or a floppy disk because as soon as you turn on the computer, that's when it executes. After that file, after the boot set the infector has executed, it can get all into your system files and everything. Also, the boot set the infector is most dangerous because it can get into your hidden files. Your hidden files are the system files that are on your hard drive. For example, a person decides to buy a 100 gigabyte hard drive. After buying that hard drive, they install it into their computer. After putting it in their computer, they realize that it's not showing 100 gigabytes. Why? Because of the system files. The system files are hidden files. And the boot set infector gets right into it very easily. We will just review boot set infectors. Now, let's move on to the next one. File infectors. File infectors are viruses that attack and modify programs. This virus is executed by the operator, like from an email, for example. After it has been executed, the virus can do anything to the computer at once. For example, deleting your files, storing your passwords, and also open up your computer to the World Wide Web. Since we talked about the first two, let's get, let's get on to a more complex virus, the microvirus. One of the newer type of viruses the microvirus is a clever built-in program that carries that is carried by other files like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel for example. I know what your next question is. What is a micro? Well, a micro is a series of commands and actions that makes an operator life much more easier. For an example, you have a desk clerk that can use Microsoft Word and let's say that person types about 60 letters a day. However, that clerk will get tired. Once that clerk gets tired, you know, he has to rest. Well, if you was able to create a micro with the simple click of a button, that command is ran just like it was you and to make your life a whole lot easier. A microvirus is executed in the same way a file effector is executed. It has to be opened up. However, the virus is in the background. And it do and it's a lot more dangerous because it has surpassed the high levels of security. In the earlier stages, a microvirus could wipe out an entire network because of the transferring of the document. As you can see, a computer virus comes in many different forms. A virus can be bootable, a, X, a, a .exe file, or a simple but dangerous Word document. Remember, before you open an attachment, make sure you scan the file. Also, make sure you remove CDs, floppy drives, or flash drives that you have in your computer before you start them up. Again, a computer virus can be dangerous to the world of technology, so protect your system.